I chose this filter for a very mysterious reason. Can you figure out what it is? Okay, let's get into it. I want to talk about Tom Jardy's um, children. So you guys know that he's had one kid with Erica Jane Jardy, whose name is Tom Zizo, and he is a police officer, and he's purportedly living in Las Vegas. Um, and that is not, Erica did not have that child with Tom Jardy. Now there's another two stepkids that Erica Jane Jardy has, and that is uh, purportedly a man by the name of Vincent Jardy and another man, Matthew Jardy, and then uh, another uh, stepdaughter, Jacqueline Jardy Lyra. So this is the, the big family. And, you know, it was just really interesting because I was trying to figure out the relationships. Now, it's amazing because all of Tom Girardi's kids, I guess, have been wiped from the internet, except for Jacqueline. The reason Jacqueline hasn't been wiped is because she's been um, implicated in a legal allegation that Tom Girardi had put funds that he had earned as an attorney um, and directed those funds instead of to Girardi Keys, as he should have, directly to his daughter, uh, Jacqueline, who's married to David Lira, who uh, was a partner or a main associate in Tom Girardi's law firm, Girardi Keys. Um, so she's implicated in a legal problem at the moment, which is why she's sort of out there. But the other two kids are like really hard to find. So Vincent, I couldn't find anything on. It's like the guy doesn't exist. Now I did find stuff about Matthew. It turns out Matthew is a Los Angeles attorney, it would appear, and he practices law. So I thought that was really interesting that Tom Girardi's son, if this is the right Matthew, is a, a lawyer. So that's gonna pose some issues. No wonder he doesn't wanna be associated with um, the Tom Girardi scandal. So it does feel kind of weird, right? That all the kids seem to not really have Tom Girardi's back. Jacqueline doesn't seem to be running to her father's side. Matthew and Vincent, if those are indeed his two children from his, you know, Tom's previous wife before Eric are he had two wives before Erica, so one of them. It's really hard to know. Like, why don't they have their father's back more than this? It's like very strange to me. Anyway, please do comment below if you guys have additional intel because it was really hard to find. But anyway, in the process of researching Tom Jardy's kids, I realized that Andy Cohen was given this like ridiculous gift for his baby shower. Now you have to hear the whole story because in the end, you'll see why it wasn't the big scandal that it should have been. So okay. Andy receives this card from Erica Jane Girardi and Tom Girardi, and this was two years ago, probably a little bit more now. And his son, Ben, gets, get this, 1,000 shares of Disney stock. For Andy, for Andy Cohen to give to his child for the baby shower from Erica and Tom Girardi. Now, that would mean, because Disney stock in that time was between $138 and $150 a share. So that was almost on the high end, $150,000 baby shower present. Now, he says that the shares ever were never issued to him. Okay, so, and he is so happy now that those shares were never issued because he would be implicated in this mess. But I thought it was interesting. I mean, I know that Erica Jane Girardi and Tom Girardi were purportedly super, super rich at this time. But to give someone like Andy Cohen, who technically is your boss on a television show for his baby shower for his child, $150,000 present, is a little bit questionable. That's a little strange to me. I mean, I would think that, you know, he would actually, rather than not get it ever, he would say that's not appropriate, right? You work for me in a way. 
um, for you to give me that kind of a present that's, you know, so off kilter is really strange. You know, the other thing that I got out of that, which was really weird, is that why didn't Erica Jane Girardi and Tom Girardi ever give him the gift in 2019, but promise it to him? Like, that was weird. You know, you say you're going to give someone something and you don't do it. And at this very same baby shower that you're gifted this $150,000 card, you're purportedly told that Erica Jane Girardi and Tom Girardi are having financial problems, right? Because that was the rumor that was flying around the baby shower, we heard. So, you know, possibly could it be that everybody was like in shock by this $150,000 on the high end baby shower present and would like, how is Erica affording this? Like given that there's rumors that are flying around of financial issues with them, um, you know, or like at, at a minimum people in this circle that are not getting paid legal fees from Gerardi Key's legal firm for work being done. So like, hmm. And so Andy Cohen called Eric. He was like, listen, I'm really sorry, but I am going to have to t talk about in the media that I never received your baby shower present. And I don't want it to appear that I'm throwing you under the bus, but obviously I don't want to be implicated in receiving such a large gift from you that I never got because that could make me look really bad. Or he maybe didn't say the last part, but I think that's what he was thinking. So... What I thought was so ironic about that was, wasn't the whole season of Beverly Hills season 11 about people being concerned about being implicated because of their proximity to Erica Jane Girardi and like things that she might have taken from them or given to them or, or even did business transactions with them. And here we are, the man himself, afraid of the exact same thing because of a, a baby gift that he never got. So now knowing this information about this baby shower gift, I'm kind of annoyed with Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion part through one through four, because there were all these moments where Andy Cohen is kind of like, Erica, you know, you have to own that you're biting everyone's head off when they ask questions, right? But we didn't really feel this like like this incredible support for Sutton's position, which was, I don't want to be implicated in all this. I don't want to be associated with this awful crap. And, you know, I, I do care about my reputation and I don't want it to get ruined by association with all of this stuff, right? And that's her right because, you know, she probably has a good reputation. God bless her. She's one of the few left. But Andy Cohen should have, as an interview, in my opinion, he should have come clean about this baby shower gift and used it as an example of how somebody could be compromised by taking something from Erica Jane, by doing business with Erica Jane, by even borrowing something from Erica Jane related to this, you know, incident. And I thought that it was really uh, unfortunate that he didn't say this on camera so she would really have to discuss it. And I felt like it's a bit of a double standard, right? They didn't even give Sutton that great of an edit around her fighting, you know, for the right to, to not be implicated, right? Like they kind of make her look like she wasn't a great friend, which is like ridiculous. So I, I just want to say that uh, it was shocking to me. Anyway, it seems like a double standard. It's shocking to me that, first of all, someone in you know a boss position would take that kind of gift at a sh baby shower from one of his workers, essentially, actresses. I mean, that would definitely give her a leg up against the other women, potentially. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not supposed to do that in any job, even in entertainment. I don't know. It seems really weird. I'm glad he never got it because if he did, I would really like, wow, I would be really like disappointed. Um, he shouldn't accept gifts that lavish from people that work for him. I'm sorry. Never mind Erica Jane Girardi and her corruption. Forget it. There's just that. Um, what else was I going to tell you?
Oh, subscribe, like, and hit the notification button. And in the description, I put a bunch of ways you could support me through the Patreon or the tip jar.